Hi, I'm Sarah Forster, Deputy News Editor here at The National, and this is A Closer Look. Now, in today's episode, we are talking about Dr. Sultan Al Nayadi. He is the UAE's very own astronaut, and he is T minus not very long until he blasts off into space. Thank you for having me. It's a great opportunity and a great uh, honor and privilege uh, to be talking to you today. Um, we're talking about the second UAE mission to space. It's going to be six months. Um, it's a continuation for um, the UAE uh, astronaut program, second mission after the very successful mission of my colleague Hazza Al Mansouri. Now we're looking at six months of uh, science, six months of outreach, and uh, doing the daily routine on board the station. Um, I can't think of a better place where people can live in peace and harmony than the International Space Station. So we're going there as a crew. We have two Americans, uh, one Russian, and now one UAE on, on board the uh, uh, Crew 6 Dragon. Um, I'm looking towards uh, uh, sharing this experience with everybody here on the ground and hopefully uh, we, we, we can make a very successful mission. Here with me in the office, our space reporter, Sawat Nazir, and she's going to tell us a little bit more about what he's going through right now, what's coming up. We're going to hear all about it. Sawat, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Uh, yes, it's a very exciting uh, time for the UAE with another astronaut going into space. This time, uh, Dr. El Nayadi. Uh, he's going to be going on the Arab world's first long duration mission, um, and he'll be on the International Space Station for six months. Um, it's uh, the first time an Arab astronaut and, and, or an Emirati astronaut will be on the ISS for such a long time. And what he's doing right now with only about two weeks away um, when he launches into space, he's actually going to go into quarantine. So all astronauts before a space mission go into quarantine and this is just to make sure that they don't take any unwanted bacteria, for example, to, on their spaceship because it could be you know, dangerous for, for himself and for other astronauts and for the spaceship. So he's going to go um, into quarantine in uh, Houston, Texas. And then just a week before the launch, he's going to go to Florida near the launch site. And he's still going to remain in quarantine with limited contact with people. But, you know, they're going to do like a day dress, for example. So that's like a, a rehearsal for the launch where they go, they put on their suit, um, they, get, you know, get into the Tesla. And then they go all the way to, to the rocket, which is not fueled, and then they go up and they do the whole, the whole thing that they're supposed to do on launch day just as like a rehearsal to prepare for themselves. So d definitely the countdown clock has started and, uh, you know, the, the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center is counting down till uh, Dr. Al Nayadi blasts off into space. It's funny because talking about being in quarantine now doesn't seem quite so dramatic because I think we've all been in quarantine at some point over the last couple of years, haven't we? Maybe not quite as extreme. But it does remind me, if anyone's seen the film Apollo 13, <laughs> there's that scene where the astronauts say bye to their families, but they're kept, you know, like five, From six, distance. five, ten meters away. Yeah. And I remember watching it and I was like, why are they doing that? And Right. You know, we're probably going to see that. So this, you see this in every, uh, you know, mission just before they're take, an astronaut is taking off. For example, when we saw this during the UAE's first astronaut mission, which uh, involved Hazal Mansouri, you see them um, saying goodbye to their families behind the glass wall. So contact is not allowed even then. Um, and now with Dr. Al Nayadi, what we're going to see is, you know, as they're coming out from the quarantine quarters and going to Tesla's, their families will be there. Um, however, there will be a gate, so they're not going to be allowed, um, you know, contact. Mm -hmm. So you, you've just mentioned Tesla, and we'll get back to that in a second. But I just want to know, so we're, we're talking about what he's preparing in the last couple of weeks before the launch. How has he prepared for this, like, in the longest scale? Like, sure. what's, what's um, Dr. Al Nayadi had to do to get to this point? Right. Well, Dr. Al Nayadi is one of the first two astronauts that the UAE chose back in 2017 when the astronaut program started. And they've actually been training ever since. So Dr. Al Nayadi, along with his colleague, Major Al Mansouri, they've trained for a year, for almost five years now, including um, they started off with their training in Russia with Roscosmos, um, for example. Um, and then they trained all over the world. And for this specific mission, they've been training with SpaceX and NASA, as well as other partners like Japan, uh, parts of Europe. Uh, but, you know, specifically how they train for these missions is the first thing is getting your body familiarized with uh, the effects of microgravity, for example. You know, we're, we're, gravity, for example, is our friend where we're down um, on the ground, we're not floating away. But once you're actually, you go to space and you, you do feel that effect of, uh, you know, a couple of uh, zero Gs hitting you, that's twice, three times your own weight 
forcing against you. So you do have to train for that. Uh, you get nauseous, you can pass out. So they do sit in these machines, uh, training machines for, for a couple of hours every single day, making sure that their body is familiarized with, with that kind of uh, impact. Mm. It's definitely not like an easy gig, is it? Like it's tough, tough training. And uh, I think only like the strongest will get right. through there. Um, so you mentioned, mentioned Tesla. What do electric cars have to do with him going to space? Sure. Elon Musk owns SpaceX. So this mission, they're launching on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. This is the Crew 6 mission by uh, NASA and SpaceX. Uh, so when, once these uh, crew programs started from SpaceX and NASA, because Elon Musk owns SpaceX, Tesla, which is also owned by uh, billionaire e Elon Musk, uh, they are part of that uh, sort of whole routine during launch day where Teslas come and pick them up from the quarantine quarters and they drive the Teslas all the way to the launch pad. So there you go, some, some uh, good marketing uh, by, by Elon Musk. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be Twitter as well blasted. It'll be tweeted, live tweeted the whole, uh, the whole mission, I'm sure. Yes, so SpaceX uh, does li tweet uh, you know, all the regular updates about their missions. The live stream is available on Twitter. Uh, also on the website, it'll be live streamed by the space, Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center as well as NASA. Mm -hmm. So you're actually going over there, aren't you? We are, we are sending you to Florida. And um, what are you expecting to see when you're there? Yes, so this will be um, my first crewed mission from Florida. I've done, some, I've done two in, uh, in Russia. We're going to have some pretty good access in terms of, you know, when the crew is uh, arriving to uh, their quarantine quarters in Florida, and as well as when they're exiting their quarantine quarters, we're gonna see, we're gonna have that moment when they're saying goodbye to their families. I think that'll be a very special moment. He's gonna be up there for six months. That's a very long time. He has five kids. He has a lot of brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. So, you know, being away from family for that long with limited contact while they're up there on the ISS. So that's definitely gonna be a, a very special moment. And we're gonna be only a couple of kilometers away from the launch pad. Um, so we're definitely going to feel that heat and that, that, you know, that beautiful sound of the, the Merlin engines as the SpaceX rocket takes off. Um, I think that's a beautiful feeling and uh, it'll be exciting knowing that uh, there's an Emirati astronaut up there literally yeah. going to space. For sure. So what Sarwat's saying is that our coverage is going to be really good <laughs> at this event. You're going to feel like you're there with us, basically. We're all going to feel like we're there with Sarwat. So just to wrap up a little bit. What, um, obviously the, the UAE has various space programs and things, what's next? So we know he's gonna go up there, he's gonna do some experiments, he'll bring some stuff back, you know, the usual, the usual space stuff. <laughs> but then, like, what, what's gonna happen next? Right, um, in terms of like the long-term uh, space ambitions that the UAE has is, uh, you know, it's following the international plan, which is send astronauts to low Earth orbit, which is ISS, but now the plan is to send them to the moon so that eventually they can go to Mars. Um, and the moon, because you know, no one's been to the moon since the Apollo era ended. Mm -hmm. So NASA has this very ambitious program called the Artemis program, uh, which aims to send humans uh, to, to, the moon, to the surface of the moon before the end of this decade. Mm -hmm. and then eventually build a sustainable presence of humans on the moon. And that includes building a small uh, station called Lunar Gateway around the moon. Um, and the UE also has similar plans. They have not announced if they want to be part of the Artemis program. However, they have you know, very publicly spoken about their ambitions and their hopes of sending an Emirati to the moon one day. Mm. What's the saying? How does it go? We go to the moon not because it's hard or because it's easy? Not because it's easy, but because it's hard. <laughs> because it's hard, exactly. We do this stuff because it's hard, um, but then it just makes those accomplishments just that much more incredible, doesn't it? Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank well. you very much. So that's it for this week's episode of A Closer Look, where we took a deep dive into the UAE astronaut, Dr. Sultan Al Nayadi's upcoming space mission. Now, if you'd like to check out previous episodes of A Closer Look, you can find them all on our YouTube channel. And if there's an episode you'd like to suggest for the future, just pop a comment underneath the video.